Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. So you guys did see me wear this for my weigh-in. Today is Wednesday. My friends left Monday night and I just rested the whole Tuesday. Your girl was pooped and now it's Wednesday. I filmed my video, I've been productive, but you guys. Try to guess what is in this heavy, huge box. I'll let you guys think about it while I tell you the story time. So there is someone in my life that I would say is special um, in that way. We're not in a relationship though, so calm down. But I have been friends with this person since September and we have become really good friends and like the whole time crushing on each other. So we asked each other to be each other's Valentines. So that was like a cute thingy. So I'm gonna be referring to her as my Valentine because I'm not gonna say her name. Just out of respect. But she is one of my very best friends, but we like, I was gonna say low key like each other, but it's high key at this point. So I was on the phone with her and we were just talking about my Legos and I mentioned a Lego just like, you know, randomly a Lego that I'm interested in because we literally just talk about everything. And Legos is, is a very popular topic because I'm obsessed. I mentioned, yeah, there's like this Lego. It's like hundreds of dollars though. So I'm not gonna like get it anytime soon, but it's definitely gonna be the next one that I get for myself. That's like a bigger purchase. And we just like went on to the next conversation. And I think like an hour after we got off the phone, she messaged me and she was like, I have a question. And I was like, oh my God. Usually when someone just comes out like that and they're just like, I have a question or like, I have to talk to you like I immediately get anxiety and I'm just like oh my god what is it she literally said let me get you that lego you want and I was like girl so like after saying no after doing the whole like oh my god but it's so expensive I finally gave in and she got me <laughs> oh my god I just can't even believe it for valentine's day she got me this Lego that I've been wanting. I just can't. Like how sweet is that? But another small box came with that. So I'm gonna open it first. So I asked my Valentine, I was like, what do you want? Like, what do you want me to get you? Like, I feel so just like, I cannot believe it. Like, do I deserve this? And she was like, no, if I think of something I want, I'll let you know. But I'm over here just like, I need to get you something. Like, are you joking? Oh my gosh, in that box was this limited edition. I guess it's like a Valentine's Day little Lego. It is so adorable. And it looks like this. Oh my God. You guys are gonna LOL, but the reason why I'm wearing this like a little Valentine's Day outfit is because I knew this was arriving today and I knew that actually today was gonna be the day that I was gonna ask her to be my Valentine. So it all just kind of like worked out perfectly and that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to have like a little girly pop outfit for that. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but okay. Are you guys ready to see the Lego? Oh my God, I cannot believe this is real life right now. I'm so excited. This is heavy. Once y'all see this Lego, a lot of you are gonna be very confused, but I love that. I'm just very quirky and confusing. So I am not like a Batman girly, like you're not gonna see me watching the Batman movies on my free time, but there are some pretty awesome Batman Legos and the minute I saw the Batcave I literally said I had to have it like tell me that isn't freaking stunning like it is the coolest looking thing ever and I'm so excited to build that and then like have it I don't know where I'm gonna put it but she's gonna put it somewhere like I am obsessed and then the Batcave literally opens up as you can see here I am so excited. You guys have no idea. And my Valentine, the person who got it for me, like literally, you know how grateful and appreciative I am and like shocked. I'm just very thankful for the connection that we have right now and like whatever is blossoming. Like it just feels really good. I love you. Like you're amazing. Well, you guys, this happened. Yeah, it did. It broke. That makes me very sad. And that's gonna drive me crazy. Maybe I can like glue that piece on. Doubt it, but oh boy. Okay guys, so I went to Five Below with my mom. So I wanted to show you the things I got. It's a little haul moment. Okay, don't come for me. I know this is weird. Even while at Five Below, I was like, mom, um, should I get this? But I feel like I would have regretted not getting it. So I wanna put these <laughs> on my couch. Ooh, almost dropped her. 
So I want to put two of them on my couch. I, it's just an aesthetic. It just looks, it's weird and I love it. So we're going to put it on my couch and see how it looks. But I also got two more pillows. Just wait. So these are honestly so cute. I'm not sure how it's going to go with my couch. But the thing is, I know that I can make it work. Tell me these aren't the cutest things you've ever seen. Oh my God. So I got two of them. They also had ones with cactuses on them, but these, these are where it's at. Like, I love the aesthetic of like this white color with like a pop of red with the cherries. I think it's so cute. And then, oh, dropping bags. And then another decor piece, which I thought was so cute is this disco ball. I love the aesthetic of a disco ball. So I was like, okay, your girly pop needs one. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it or just like set it, we'll see. I got a new journal, don't come for me. I journal a lot, folks. Um, and it just says cherry, cherry, cherry over and over. I just thought it was so cute. Last but not least, not that I needed these. There's just like a lot of different and weird types of candies at Five Below. And I wasn't gonna get any, but I saw Boba Milk Tea Jelly Bellies. So I was like, I wanna try them. Realistically, this isn't gonna make me gain weight if I try a few. So let's not get mad at the Jelly Bellies. Um, we could do like a little taste test. There's a mango milk tea, a taro milk tea, a matcha milk tea, strawberry milk tea, and Thai milk tea. They're all packaged individually. So the first one, cause I know I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> Let's do the matcha tea. I'm not a matcha girly. All right. That's actually not bad. Wow. Okay. Let's do taro. Am I pronouncing that wrong? I'm not feeling that one. Ew. It very much reminds me of like the popcorn jelly belly, which I hate so much. Okay. So next one is the mango milk tea. Mm hmm. I knew she was going to be good. All right. Let's do the Thai one. Oh no. Mm -mm. Oh, that tastes like rotted milk. That's a no for me. Last but not least, strawberry milk tea. Mm -hmm. I knew I was gonna like her. That's why I chose her last. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys one of my new favorite meals that I've been getting lately. Okay, so I get it from a Mediterranean place. This is seasoned beef. That's literally all it is. That was basically a kebab at one point. And then you get basmati rice, pita bread, and I like to get this hummus. So it's a trio of a spicy hummus, a basil pesto hummus, and just like an original. And I try to just order this by itself, the spicy one, because that's the one that I eat. I don't really eat these two at all. But the spicy one slaps and you get it with some pita and it comes with a little extra pita. They do give a lot of meat though. I usually only finish two of those. And as you guys know, I'm not really a tomato girly so i don't eat that okay so i'm currently just chilling on my couch but there is like a hot topic that people are talking about people are thinking that i lied about having friends come visit me because they weren't in my videos their voices weren't and that's because i highly respect people's privacy and they didn't even want their voices in my video so i had to respect that and so whenever i would film something it's because either they A, weren't talking, so we had a break in my filming. Because literally the whole time they were here, it, it was just a lot of this. Like, so much laughter and just talking and just having a great time. Um, and obviously I didn't film any of that because they just don't want to be in my videos. And I have to understand that. Like, in the past, I have filmed a lot of people. And with some of the, like, the community that follows me... It makes it to where people don't want to be in my videos anymore. It has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with like the way that a large group of people who watch my videos, the way that they like treat people in my videos. Like it's just a lot of like doxing or just like really rude, rude things are said and rumors, etc, etc. So I'm just going to like respect people. Um, people can think that I'm lying about having friends. People can think I'm lying about my weight. People can think I'm lying about whatever. I'm very much in an era where I just don't care anymore. <laughs> like I have tried so hard to prove myself in the past regarding so many things. And it's like, sure, if there's like a rumor or a question or something that people are talking about, like I will come on here, I'll talk about it. And then that's just going to be the end of it. Like 
I'm not going to sit here and just like rant and rave and vent and try to prove myself to a bunch of people who just don't want to hear what I have to say. So they create their own storyline from my life. It's just something that I've dealt with on YouTube for a while now. And it's just like I'm officially at like a stage in my life where I just like don't care. Like I'm unbothered. Literally unbothered. Like I said, I'll mention something once or twice, but then that's the end of it. Like you guys can enjoy whatever you need to do to fill your time. I'm just not going to be a part of it. So anyways, yeah, I just watched the new episode of Jersey Shore. Super happy about that. I am behind on A Thousand Pound Sisters. I'm two episodes behind. I heard the last episode was like super freaking sad. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to go into that. Okay, you guys, I'm about to put down my new pillows, but I just wanted to show you like what my living room looks like before that. This is just how she looks every day. Here are just some um, graphic novels. It's like my favorite graphic novel series well one of them it's saga so good over here is twinkie's bed she has that corner to herself um so yeah this is before you guys i love the papa green it does something for me but i can't figure out what to do with the disco ball so i was gonna take my saga books off my coffee table and put this instead let me know what you guys think oh that's a big no for me that looks on the verge of pathetic. <laughs> I do not like that. I might have to find a different spot for you. I just love it so much. See, this is cute. I love this, but now it's making me want to like look on Amazon if I can find like bigger ones because it just seems so small. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know you'll be honest. Y'all, I just watched a halftime show. I do not watch football. Not really 100% my thing, but I did watch the halftime show because I have always been an Usher girly pop. Like I love him so much. I literally grew up listening to his music and my eighth grade talent show, I did a dance to one of his songs with a really good friend of mine at the time. But that halftime show is by far the best halftime show I have ever seen. My millennial dream has come true. Like that was incredible. I felt very transported back to that era of my life. I was grooving and like the special, oh my God, the special guest, like Ludacris, Alicia Keys, y'all, that was awesome. If you haven't seen it, search it on the YouTube. It was beautiful. This is totally random, but Usher is actually one of the biggest celebrities that I've actually seen in person. I was actually at a baseball game. God, I was probably 14. It was a baseball game in San Francisco and he was actually there. It was a random moment. Did I go up to him? No. Did I want to? Maybe. So I am going to end this vlog. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.